Welcome to the 2013 Unplugged GT. This is our inaugural event, and we're really glad that all of you could come out to be here with us this weekend. Uh, before we get started this morning, there's just a couple of the things that we'd like to go over real quick. Uh, first, we'd like to introduce you to the crew who have worked so hard and are working here today to put this event on for you. Uh, I'm John Vanas, and I'm the TO for this weekend, so I'll be sitting at the score booth and running around most of the weekends, on, but get me if you got questions. Uh, over here to our left, we have Jeff Egan and Noah Nathanson, who are going to be your rules judges for the weekend. They've got rules judge written on their back, so you should be able to find them no problem, and they're wearing black and red shirts. Um, these guys know their stuff. They're the kind of people who will debate rules uh, over email for days at a time, threads stretching into the hundreds. Uh, in, it's crazy. Anyway, they know what they're doing. Uh, if you have a rules debate, go to them. They'll give you an answer. Uh, whatever they judge, whatever they rule stands. Um, moving on, we have over here our paint judges for the weekend. We have accomplished painter Mike Tiscus, Greg Person, and also Peyton Shipman. Uh, now these guys are all really good painters. They know their stuff, and they're going to be giving you, um, you know, the full attention your army deserves. You'll be getting a score sheet with some comments, and they're available the whole weekend if you got questions and want to talk to them. Uh, Definitely, uh, you know, suggest uh, telling them about your conversions and any anything you want noticed in your army. Um, we'd like everybody to get judged as fairly as possible. Uh, additionally, we have our paparazzi for the weekends. Over here, we have Jen Person. She will be running around taking photographs, uh, posting to Twitter. That's at Unplugged GT, um, and and generally kind of documenting the event and making sure that uh, everybody's having a good time. Last, but definitely not least, we have the man, the legend, the ringer, Rosebud. Well, we don't know if he's actually going to be playing this weekend or not. Uh, that depends on how things pan out. But he will be available, and he'll be subbing in for any games should the need arise. Hi, I'm Jeff Egan, one of the rules judges for the 2013 Unplugged GT. Before we let the games begin, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about how our event is organized. Our event's a bit different from the normal Warhammer GT in the Northeast. We really have two events in one here. The first part of the event is typical for our Warhammer GTs. It includes painting, generalship, and sportsmanship. The second part of the event is a painting competition. When you leave on Sunday, you're going to see two score sheets that rank players in each of these categories. Our awards for the event are Best overall, first through third. Favorite opponent, first through third. Best appearance, first through third. And lastly, and most importantly, the big daddy. The complete hobbyist. The inaugural complete hobbyist. Get excited. This is the player who knocks the socks off of all the players at the event in each of the categories. They'll be going home with the greatest and most prestigious prize. Hi, I'm Mike Tiscus, and I'll be one of the paint judges here today, and I want to just take a minute to um, give you a couple other aspects of the event that um, you should probably keep in mind, if I can speak clearly. Um, the first is that we've worked really hard to make sure that this event runs as smoothly as we can possibly make it, and that's really to ensure that you have the maximum fun and enjoyment during the event. So um, we want to make sure that you feel comfortable approaching the rules judges if you have questions, and they're going to be keeping an eye on the play of the games to make sure that all the rules are being followed. Um, second is that um, they're going to be you know, keeping an eye out for unsportsmanlike conduct. Not that there's going to be any, but should some event happen, you know, we want you to feel uh, free to come forward and uh, talk to the rules judges to make sure everybody's having a good time. Um, lastly, uh, before I uh, leave you here, I just wanted to mention that um, we're going to have a clock up on the screen right here, uh, and that clock will give you um, a countdown on the amount of time left in the round. And when you see that there's 15 minutes left on the clock, we ask that you please not continue the game and make sure that both players finish a complete even number of turns. We're going to have a spot on the score sheet to have you um, mark down the number of turns that you completed in your game, and we can use that to judge for future events, how we might be able to improve the event. But, um, you know, keep an eye on the clock. Um, we want to make sure that everybody gets equal time to play, and that's going to help ensure that everybody has fun. So, 
With that said, I'll turn it back over to John. Thanks, Mike. I just want to talk about terrain for a little bit here. So the Unplugged Gamers have worked really hard over the past year and a half to put together this collection of terrain. Um, we wanted to make an event that was going to look better than any event we've been to. Uh, really something where we're proud of those tables, right? Uh, the you know the trade-off of that is that some of the terrain is more durable than other pieces. We tried to make it as durable as we can while still preserving a lot of the look. So we asked that you be you know careful with the terrain where possible. Uh, especially some of the more fragile stuff like trees when you're moving them, just be gentle. We have provided these convenient coasters on every table to mark the table numbers. Um, they also work really, really well for holding a cold drink. So if you're going to put your drink on the table, please put it on the coaster we provided for you. Uh, there's space in between the tables. That's an even better place to put your drinks. But if they have to go on a surface, that's where they should go. Additionally, every table is going to have a terrain map. We're going to be using preset terrain for this event. So at the beginning of the game, uh, you want to make sure that your table matches the map that you've been provided. It's got a rough grid on it. The measurements don't have to be precise, but you can see within a couple of inches where each terrain piece should go. Please leave those with each table as they're going to stay on that table for the remainder of the event. So with that, on behalf of the Unplugged Gamers, I'd like to wish you all good luck for this weekend and hope that everybody has a wonderful time. So what do you say, Jeff? You ready to roll some dice? Yeah! Pull the plug!